Yes guys and welcome yourselves back to yet another video on the channel today I'm going to be addressing this 451 formation Yes that's right you guys absolutely smashed it on the last 451 And today I'm going to show you a bit different tactics Much better tactics post patch So make sure you listen up and make sure you subscribe If you are new to the channel So as you can see here the 451 Now one thing I really do recommend um, is staying away from the 451 second Absolutely no need if you're going to do a 4-5-1, you may as well do the first with the two cams just to put your striker up front. Now, you've also got that central centre midfielder. Now, he's going to play an absolute key role in this um, team because he's going to be the one relying on getting back. Our cams, I'm not going to lie, they are not going to get back as nowhere near as much as our centre centre mid. Left mids and right mids can push up the pitch and they can feel free to do whatever they like. Full wax again. They're fine and your striker is on his own, so he's going to need to support up there as well. So, let's get into the tactics now. So our defensive style is going to be balance and our width and depth are both going to be 4 and 4. Now, last time I showed you a very attacking preset for this formation. Today, I'm going to show you a more balanced preset for this formation because this formation is not defensive. You can't get away from the fact that this formation is not defensive. So, you're either going to play it very balanced or very, very attacking. And today, I'm going to show you the balance of tactics and instructions. So, our defensive style is actually going to be balanced as well now. On the offensive star, you can literally use anything. Now, it's really what suits you. For me, I like to use balance. I like to mix between long ball, fast put up, sometimes even possession. For you, you may like to rely on the long ball forward and um, play over the top to your striker. You may like to play fast put up play. For me, I like to vary between them and use balance all in the same gameplay. So, I use balance and that's what I recommend. Our width is going to be 5. Now, the reason why I use 5 on most of my attacking widths is because you want to play the way the formation wants you to play. So say you've got left wings and right wings, the formation wants you to play them out wide. So, you know, I'll play 5. I'll just leave my offensive style on 5 because I want my left mids and right mids to stay wide, but not go too narrow and by far not hug the touchline too much. Players in the box is actually going to be 5 as well now. The one thing we do not want with this formation is our um, two of our camps and our uh, centre mid getting into that box. Feel free to get one in there, sometimes even two, your left mids and right mids in there as well, but do not get that central centre midfielder forwards unless you're playing an attacking preset of the formation. Corners two and three kicks two as well. Now, I've had a lot of people saying they use um, corners on two, so I tried it out. I personally like it more because I don't get hit on the counter attack as much. You can use three, but I recommend two. Um, anything above four is just not worth it. And also on your free kicks, you use two. Um, when you have a free kick in a wide position, you have nobody to cross it in there um, if you only have one on. So we use two on that. So guys, the 451, make sure you subscribe as I am releasing a 4231 tomorrow. So make sure you subscribe and make sure you listen out for that. So moving on to the instructions, our striker is going to be on the following. Stay forward, stay cinch, and stay getting behind. I may have said that a bit weird, um, but no, nonetheless, these are the best instructions to have on your striker, especially if you're playing long ball or fast build up or balance. Now, the reason for this is your striker is always going to be up that pitch. He's always going to be causing problems and he's always going to be making a mess of himself. He's going to get them sent halves in tears. He's literally going to be ripping them apart, causing problems and being there, um, keeping them constantly on their toes. So striker definitely, definitely have these instructions on him. Now, like I said, our central centre midfield is actually going to stay set our cover centre and stay back while attacking. Now, the reason for this is, if we do use balance or attack, then every single midfielder will get up the pitch. And we do not want that, so we do want our central centre midfielder getting back. Our cams will actually be on getting to box across. Um, you can actually have one of these cams on stay forward, but for me, I thought that was a bit too uneven. Uh, but use getting to box uh, nonetheless, because they'll still get up the pitch, they'll still support your striker up there. With our left mids and right mids, we will use the default on every single instruction. Now, any formation you see me do, absolutely any formation. If I have left mids and right mids, I will leave them on every single thing default because they're perfect the way they are. Fullbacks, stay back while attacking and stay back while attacking. Now, I always say this, if you're using a wide formation such as the 4-5-1, the 4-3-3, etc., there's absolutely no need for your fullbacks to push up the pitch. All we're doing is leaving gaps in behind themselves. Um, we've already got left mids and right mids up there to provide the crosses into our striker. So yeah, you stay back on your fullbacks. Sends halves default default. Goalkeeper comes to crosses and sweeper. Keeper, definitely the best thing to have in your goalkeeper. So guys, it'll be greatly appreciated if you could even consider subscribing as it really helps channel grow. I put a lot, of, a lot of effort into these videos and it'll definitely pay off if you could subscribe. Um, all, it, uh, all it takes is one click. If you are even feeling generous, then make sure to turn on notifications so you do not miss out on any more key videos like these. 
So guys, like I said, watch out for the 423 I'm dropping tomorrow and have a nice day, have a nice week and goodbye.